We've seen waves of black filmmaking happen before in the 30s, in the 70s, in the 80s, and now now there seems to be a renaissance of blacks filmmaking, black storytelling. Um, you know, what, what do you think defines this wave that's a little different from previous ones, or is it all part of the same continuum in your mind? It's a, you know, it's a continuum of forward and backward. You know, it's like uh, on, on, on some aspect, black people are going forward. On another aspect, they're going backward. And so uh, in, in film, it becomes really insignificantly not that important. But in literature, for example, black people in music and literature have established. But the problem here now is now we're learning who owns the intellectual property of black imagination now is going to be a 21st century issue. Uh, jazz is great, but who owns it? Blues is great, but who owns it? And then if this is not capital, no wonder I can't make my own movies. Who owns the capital? If black people, if you harvest, if black people have produced so much cultural wealth in leave a sport out just in jazz and blues and gospel and American music that goes all over the world, how come they don't have a cent of that capital in order to extend and transform and transaction the future and the present imaginative process? How come they can't finance their own movie? As, why are they still poor? <laughs> if to me, if I even only owned Billy Holiday's music, I would make twenty thousand movies. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, who owns the intellectual product of black people? Intellectual literature, even now, black publishers. For example, you talk about black arts, etc. The independent one published financially, they went out of business. Uh, there's only like three or four black publishers in literature, you know, Third World Press, Red Sea Press, uh, Black Classics. Right. Yeah. Who owns the writing and who reissues it? Why are most of the black uh, intellectual products and books out of print? Mm. So what should be the goal? Ownership, being independent, telling our stories, or infiltrating the system so that we can have more influence over the way we're perceived by the world? Well, I can't speak about infiltrating the system because I never met those who came back out of that, that dragon's mouth. So I would leave it to infiltrators. From slavery to now, we have known, in, including the African colonial history, infiltrators have gone, but they never came back. If they did, we would have some tangible uh, and formidable uh, position uh, to me. But, but in terms of black popular culture, you do see people like Kevin Hart, Will Packer, they've had a lot of success. Tyler Perry has had a lot of success. Um, you know, Ava DuVernay, she was in, they were talking about her directing the next Marvel film. You know, th these are great strides, you know, being, being able to make $100 million at the box office with, a, with black actors. And who owns it?